Welcome to Chapel Hill and our Holy Week services, devotional services. I invite you now to pray with me this day. Almighty and loving God, we thank you for our time together. We pray, O oh Lord, that as you connect us through your Holy Spirit across whatever distances that separate us this day, that you would connect us in such a way of your love and grace, that we be able to encounter you more fully in this time, to hear your voice more clearly, so that we might follow you more nearly the days that lie before us. As we journey this journey toward Easter, this holy week, in Jesus' most holy name we pray, amen. Amen. Would you join me in singing? Come ye disconsolate, whate'er your burdens be. Come to the mercy seat, by his throne kneel fervently. Here bring your wounded hearts, here let your pain light of the wanderer, hope of the penitent, ever radiant and pure, here speaks the The Old Testament reading is from Isaiah 49, 1-7. Listen to me, O coastlands, pay attention, you peoples from far away. The Lord called me before I was born, while I was in my mother's womb he named me. He made my mouth like a sharp sword, in the shadow of his hand he hid me. He made me a polished arrow, in his quiver he hid me away. And he said to me, You are my servant, Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing and vanity. Yet surely my cause is with the Lord, and my reward with my God. And now the Lord says, Who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, and that Israel might be gathered to him. For I am honored in the sight of the Lord." and my God has become my strength. He says, It is too light a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the survivors of Israel. I will give you as a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Thus says the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel and his Holy One, to one deeply despised, abhorred by the nations, the slave of rulers. 
Kings shall see and stand up princes, and they shall prostrate themselves because of the Lord, who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel, who has chosen you. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Please join with me in our confessional prayer. Merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart and mind and strength. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is merciful and gracious. The Lord is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. As a father has compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion for those who fear him. For he knows how we were made, and he remembers that we are dust. But the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him, and his righteousness to children's children, to those who keep his covenant and remember to do his commandments. Our reading from the Psalms is from Psalm 71, verses 1 through 14. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and rescue me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be to me a rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Rescue me, O God, from the hand of the wicked and from the grasp of the unjust and cruel. For you, O Lord, are my hope and my trust. O Lord, from my youth, upon you I have leaned from my birth. It was you who took me from my mother's womb. My praise is continually of you. I have never been like a potent to many, but you are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praises and with your glory all day long. Do not cast me off in the time of old age. Do not forsake me when my strength is spent. For the enemies speak concerning me, and those who watch for my life consult together. They say, pursue and seize the person whom God has forsaken, for there is no one to deliver. O God, do not be far from me. O my God, make haste to help me. Let my accusers be put to shame and consumed. Let those who seek to hurt me be covered with scorn and disgrace. But I will hope continually and will praise you yet more and more. The psalmist writes, You are my strong refuge. Those are powerful words. You, God, are my strong refuge. The Hebrew word for refuge is meksi, meksi, refuge. Refuge is like a fortress, like like a, a beautiful cathedral with beautiful stained glass and mighty and powerful arches throughout it. Not a place to hide from the world, though. That's not what is meant here as a hiding place from the world. No, to know God is our strong refuge is to know because God is our refuge, we can actually face the world courageously. Courageously in the good days, courageously in the hard days. We can glorify God too in the way we engage with the world, in the way we engage with our neighbors. God is our strong refuge. Psalm 57 also speaks of God as a refuge. Be merciful to me, O God, be merciful to me. For in my soul takes refuge. Nothing else will give us strength and mercy but our God. Nothing. Our strength and inspiration, our refuge, our makesy, makesy refuge. God is our strong refuge. Let us now enter into a time of meditation. And let us repeat the word, the Hebrew word. Make she as we enter into this time. Let us pray. Make she. Make she. Make she. Make she. Make see. 
Feel the power of a mighty fortress. Feel the power of the mighty fortress of God. May it inspire you. May it inspire you to courageously glorify God. Let us continue in a spirit of meditation focused upon God as our refuge in all times. Please join me in the prayer of illumination. Spirit of God, help us to attend to your voice that speaks through the scriptures. Open our hearts and minds to receive your truth deep into our souls so that we will be transformed by your power and be able to demonstrate your grace to others. Thank you for the gift of your presence now. Amen. Our gospel reading is from John 12, 20 through 36. Now among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip, who was from Bethesda in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly, I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? No. It is for this reason that I've come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, this voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. The crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that the Messiah remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Jesus said to them, The light is with you for a little longer. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. If you walk in the darkness, you do not know where you are going. While you have the light, believe in the light, so that you may become children of light. After Jesus had said this, he departed and hid from them. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. On this Holy Tuesday, we have heard the word of God. And my prayer for us would be that the seed of the gospel would fall on good soil in our hearts and that we truly would decide to follow Jesus more fully and more completely with every passing day. So please sing this together. 
And I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. cross before me, the world behind me, the cross before me, the world behind me, the cross before me, no turning back, no turning back. Though none go with me, I still will follow. Though none go with me, I still will follow. Though none go with me, I still will follow. No turn.